you grab the cage to stop your opponent from taking you down, I will stop the fight and deduct the point. You don't grab the cage. Introducing to you your blue corner. Please put your hands together for Drew Murray. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the red corners, Joseph. Richardson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your Warrior Extreme Cage Fighting Professional Mixed Martial Arts 155 pound weight division formal introductions. The following contest is being brought to you this evening by the Best of Detroit Photography. Check them out at thebestofdetroit.com and online Facebook for the Best of Detroit. Thank you for joining us. Introducing your fighters. First, Fighter to my left. Tonight, he is out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed in death to Reggie's. He comes to us at 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 155 pounds, a freestyle mixed martial artist, proudly putting his 3 and 2 record on the line here tonight. On behalf of Death to Reggie's, GNC, Training Mask, Every Victory Earned, and Three Nicks Tap Room. Represented on behalf of just Jason Fisher and Darren Cruikshank for Michigan Top Team. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Drew all day Moran. His opponent across the cage, man to your right. Tonight, he is out of the red corner, wearing the camo, and American flag trunks. He comes to us at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 155 pounds. He too, a freestyle mixed martial artist, putting his two in one record on the line here tonight on behalf of Aaron Nick and Four Corners Mixed Martial Arts. Here is Joseph, the American Tag Richardson. Wow. Say hello to the lovely, Miss Kayla Wall creeping her way around the cage for round one action. Once again, being brought to you by the best of Detroit. Your referee in charge, Mr. TJ Corwin. Our casting partner is locked in the cage and he's ready to rumble. Uh, big 155 over there with Joseph Richardson. See if uh, the reach of Drew can some damage here. A lot of wild striking coming in right there from uh, Joseph and technically Drew. Nice leg kick from yeah, Drew. Very, it's nice Chris. to see him utilize that. I know he's been mentioning working really hard with Darren and uh, Jason and he really wanted to showcase the work that he's put in the gym. You can see him right now. He's just outside of the reach of Joseph, and uh, and he's landing. Very nice. A lot of power from Richardson. Yeah. yeah he, you can see he's heavier in his feet, so he's trying to land more power. But uh, he looks like right so far a little too slow. Uh, and a little too windy with his punches, which is going to get through out of the way. Good land Clip one coming there, in yeah. there, yeah. I know Drew's mentioned in the past that sometimes. It's the second time, uh, yeah. second low shot right there. Um, Five minutes given to the recipient of the low blow, or until he is ready to be taken. Sometimes, uh, it takes take something like that to wake you up and uh, 
light a fighter on your ass. And Drew's mentioned in the past that once he gets nicked on the button a little bit, that kind of lights, lights that fire and he's ready to go. Yeah. Well, he needs, he needs to have a little bit more offense. And I know he's still feeling out and finding his reach, but like he needs to throw more than the one sees. He needs to get the, yeah, he needs to come in with a, with a right hand after that. And, and also, I can see that Joseph is struggling moving backwards, so he, he needs to put combos together. Nice spinning back kick. You can tell he's been in Michigan top team. Cause right. Oh, nice left hook. Very nice left hook for Drew. I don't think that he really knew that he had it, so he didn't put enough on it, but that could have put him out because that was clock on. Nice take down from Richardson, but immediate sweep from Drew. Yeah. He's going to come out the back door. Yeah, I think he surprised him a little bit with that takedown, but uh, you know the scrambling ability of Drew definitely put him in a good position right here. Drew has his back, and um, Drew definitely has a nice arsenal of chokes in his uh, toolbox. Yeah, he's got to get that second hook in so it doesn't fall off to the side. Richardson trying to shake, shake him, him off, off a little yeah. bit. Doing a really good job locking that head up. That's the wrestling. That's not the jiu-jitsu, which is really, really a good way to stay on there. But he's got to get the second hook in so he doesn't uh, end up coming off. But now he's using the cage on that side, so that'll work too. And Drew's very strong, actually. Yeah. You see that he's long, but he's actually deceptively strong. Yes, he is. And when he has, when he has this type of control, it's a difficult, difficult spot to be in for his opponents. Yeah. Oh, he's got that rear naked yeah. sink, and that's oh. trouble. Chin is down, which is saving him but right Drew's now. But him man, out very nicely. That's that's a bad spot for Richardson. Yeah. Oh, it's sinking. It's going deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh no! Nice wow. transition Great. for Drew. Yeah. Boy. Nice explosion from Richardson. Yeah, Richardson is really tough because this that was uh, some great scrambling to get to where he is right now. Because he was almost. Yeah, he was flattened out. But like you, like you mentioned, a little detail. The chin was just, nice and out, just, just enough secured to allow him time to get out of there. A powerful guy like, like Joseph Richardson, you really don't want him on top of you. So this is where Drew has got to get active and, and working on either stalling him out or, yeah, nice a sweep attempt. That would go right. You know, being such a good wrestler, uh, you know, Drew obviously prefers to be on top, but yeah. uh, he's no stranger to working off his back. But like you said, Richardson, a very strong guy. Um, nice pick shot into this ground and pound. It's a nice short sit opportunity if you want to go short sit. Um, can't, can't wait there though. Ooh, that was a nice like a mounted setup. guillotine. Yeah. That was a nice setup for that. Yeah, he set it up nicely. I like that he tried through with his knee. Short time here. Ten, ten <laughs> seconds left in the first round. Again, looking for that guillotine. Yeah. It's a dangerous fighter, man. I tell you. Nice knee to the body to end the round for yep. Richardson. Competitive first round. Drew's breathing. He's had a, a pretty heavy backpack on him there for a while. You know, he had the advantage in the early part of the round, but uh, with that finish, I'm not sure how to score that. And again, you know, it's always tough too when you're uh, emotionally attached to one of the cats, uh, no, been friends for such a long time. Uh, but that's a tough round. Yeah, tough round to score, but I think, um, as you mentioned, when he had him flattened out, almost finished him with a choke. Yeah. Um, if I'm a judge, I'm probably going to get the nod to Drew, but again, very tough to score. Uh, first yeah. round, very competitive. Well, and also the, the amount of lands that they were doing on their feet uh, was clearly in the favor of Drew. Uh, neither one of them land, landed anything all that dangerous. Most land heavy was probably that left hook that we saw a little bit before the takedown. Both guys still look fresh. Yep, and they recovered real well.
getting ready to go into round two, and uh, it's been a great fight so far. Lots of uh, lots of uh, conflict. Cornerman Fisher was yelling for the same thing you were uh, for you to throw combinations rather yeah. than a pot shot with a jab and a hook here and there. Yeah. Well, he's he's really good with him, and like you said before, we, we can't forget that he's a professional boxer as well, uh, and, and he should be throwing combos. He's a bit of a counterfighter, though. Yeah, I know. But, but, but it's dangerous to do with a heavy-handed guy like uh, who he's fighting today. He'd be he'd be smart to at least throw combos when he's going forward. No, absolutely. Nice angle. Yeah. Every time Drew moves forward and throws, he's winning the fight. He needs to stick to that. Well, nice inside kick from Richardson. That yeah, was beautiful. Well, Just gotta, gotta, gotta trust in his stuff here, cause nice, nice duck on it, but man, oh man, good takedown defense for Joseph. Yeah, it was set up really nice, Ooh. nice little elbow from Drew. It was set up really nice, but uh, Richardson stuffed it excellently. Yeah. He's gotta loosen up a little bit though. He's gotta, you know, he, he throws the one, the one, two, and he's gotta come with a three, he's gotta come with a four, like, very nice drive, he's got the hands locked. Richardson's obviously got a, bat, a wrestling background as well because he's yeah. given Drew a lot of trouble here. Um, and this, and this is where he likes to work this guillotine. Yeah, I, I, he, he's he's waiting in a position that he shouldn't be waiting in. He needs to move, and he's back up. That's good. Nice. Nice dirty boxing from Drew. He doesn't have to chase this fight to the ground. He's done really well on his feet. And you can see what uh, Richardson lunging in like that. Nice knee to the body. Yeah, that was uh, pretty intense. Fisher Just said, forget the, forget the take down box. Yeah. I think that's smart. I think that's good advice. I think right now he, he stays technical, he boxes. He's got this fight. Richardson with a shot of his own, but Drew's got that guillotine. Oh, that's deep. Up. Oh. It's a triangle opportunity here. That hand is a little lazy. His right hand is a little lazy. trying to work in uh, potentially a triangle attempt yeah I know he likes that guillotine even from the guard sometimes you use it to set up a sweep mm -hmm. the thing with Drew is he's real tough and not gonna get nice, finished like nice this but, uh, from but yeah though. he's definitely doing a really good job here Richardson game. Yeah. And wait, wait to get guard back too when it when it failed. Some people hang on to that and get reversed and end up getting passed or even get their back taken. Yeah, it's an excellent point. Richardson got Drew's left arm trapped behind his back actually. Yeah. Not gonna be able to put a whole lot of power on the other hand though, because he's so low himself. But the problem is that this is definitely a round in favor of, of Joseph. Screaming for you to put the foot on the hip and go. Yeah, he's a little late. 
like going, and, and he needs to. So again, a very powerful 155 on top of him. He needs to move. In the second round. Yeah, that's a Richardson round. Just yeah. controlled more, uh, did some damage from uh, within Drew's guard. Drew was shooting submissions, but uh, not enough to win the round. So yeah, and, and we're in a tricky situation because we were not completely sure the first round, even though we think that we was a lean to Drew. I would probably say in the corner right now, you need to tell him you need to go finish. You need to go pro. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I kind of agree with what um, Jason was saying. Listen, um, Drew, if I'm talking to Drew, I'm telling him, listen, trust in your hands. Yep. Throw him in combinations. This guy cannot box with you. Mm -hmm. Make him pay. And if you're Richardson's corner, um, you know, I would say try to set, use your hands, set up the takedown, yep. and control this guy. He's breathing really, really heavy, Richardson, so. This is one of those spots that conditioning could play a factor, but, uh, you know, yeah, whoever moves forward has been winning this fight all along, so if that's any indication. No, absolutely. Um, Drew's got to trust in his hands, utilize him, throw him in bunches, use those crafty angles like you can, and Richardson's yeah. got to put Drew in his back and grind him out. Yep. All right, here we go. Drew's got to be first. That's the problem. Yes. Oh, he forgot to go low with the with the left first. But this is what he wants to do: stay busy, keep keep uh, Richardson on his heels. Oh, absolutely. When he's going backwards. Uh, that's when he had a little bit of trouble. Richardson's clipped him a couple of times. Nice body shot by Richardson. But he needs to move forward. Drew has to move forward. That's got to be his MO. The problem is they're coming in single shots. Yeah. Ooh, it's one of my favorite things to throw. When they land, they're pretty devastating, but just missed the range. Big shot from Richardson. Yeah, it was. Drew needs to box. They're calling for urgency in Drew's corner, and I agree. He needs to go a little, I don't want to say go for broke, but he really needs to, 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 to fight with urgency. Big shot from Richardson. Again, over the top. Yeah, but he only throws that when he's moving forward. You keep, you got to put him on his heels. You got to put that pressure on. That was a nice shot, a shot, sharp uppercut from Drew. Yeah. Drew's breathing is nice and comfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why that happened. a tough spot. Now this is where we were before and he's looking for that. Looking for a Peruvian neck time yeah, there. Yeah, yes. And it's not on, but it's still dangerous because there's, it's again, it's a very, very strong, big, tough opponent squeezing. Nice knee from Richardson. Oh, that knee went right up the middle, though. That's the second one. Well, that's actually the third one, because there was one that didn't stop the action. So, uh, yeah. Jason yeah. Fisher just told Drew blatantly, listen, you gotta throw combinations or you're gonna lose this fight. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, he cannot, he cannot do this any other way. One season, two seasons, that's not his game either. He's not that kind of guy. He needs to throw combos of four, five, sevens. Like, he needs to come at him with that. No, absolutely. And he's capable of that. Got 
that two minutes. Richardson throwing big shots, man. Drew's got it, yeah, a little bit more for Broke. Big shots from Richardson. Yeah, only one of them la landed, but yeah, absolutely. They say let your hands go, and he's got to. He can't throw the one C and then leave him off the hook. Nice wizard from Richardson. Yeah, Drew's got it. Got nine. Oh, oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Very back nice. This is where he has to go, I agree. He's got to push off and get up. Yeah, not, not. Man, man, this tough fight, because I'll tell you this. This round's tough to score, first round's tough to score, and I know Richardson for sure had the second one. Yeah, absolutely, and, and both guys digging deep. One minute left. Uh, Drew looks seconds. tired. Richardson throwing a big shot again. Nice. Drew's got to dig deep. Yeah. I think I have Drew winning this round, and who knows about that first one? I think. This is gonna be tough, man. No. This is where Drew's gotta go, 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 and just throw him. Nice short left hook from Drew. Yeah. That was a great fight. Wow. I am again glad that I'm not a judge because that was, wow, what a fight. Yeah, a tough one to score. Um, with that last 20 seconds, both guys were really, really trying really to. Really uh, active, yeah. You know, seal it because both guys understood that, listen, I can't this leave the, close, this yeah. in the hands of the judges. Um, it's tough to score, you know. Richardson and the second big, round is probably the only one that was not tough to score. Yeah, this but, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the if I'm going to say what bothers me is the fact that I know Drew is much better than that. As far as his combos and everything else, he has the capability of, of making this a little bit of a, I don't want to say uh, take him to school, but like his boxing is so technically advanced. And, and, and then he comes in here and he throws a lot of one season two season. He's got to trust it. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Still a really, really good fight. Very competitive fight, and uh, I'm not sure who won that one. Thank you, gentlemen. We're extreme. I want to remind all of our competitors to fight with not in the scene underneath these hot, hot lights. As we let our judges tally up, bam, bring that volume. One of these cats is gonna be a 500 fighter after this fight, and that feels a little bit unfair. They're both probably deserving a better. Yeah, that's why fights like these are so crucial, I mean, because you drop to a 500 fighter, you're less appealing to promotions, uh, so it's crucial for both of these guys to get the W. We need round four and five, they said. I agree, that was, that was about. Lots of conversations between the head judge and our announcer, making sure they're getting this call right.
maybe you could fill me in, Harley. How much conversion uh, conversations? Like, what is the realm of what the judges are allowed to discuss post-fight? Uh, they can't discuss with each other at all. Okay, and they okay. actually score each round independently. So how it works is they actually have a runner that picks up each round separately okay. from all the other ones. So all right. It's, Ladies it and is what it is. Yeah. Here we go. Please clap of your hands. A clap of your hands. Fantastic, fantastic fight. Great fight, guys. Matchmaker Michael Pettinelli. We stand here, ladies and gentlemen, this evening, and the judges have scored the bout. Judge John Bond, 29-27 for Richardson. Judge Dan Holliday, 29-27 Richards, Richardson. And Nicholas Trenya, 28-28 for a draw, a majority decision going to Mr. Joseph Richardson. That is the judge's decision. Majority judge decision, Mr. Jax Richardson. That's, that's tough. Did I read that right? Joseph Richardson, got you here in the center of the cage. Do you want a couple words that you would like to say here this evening, good sir? Congratulations. The only thing I want to say is thank you to my fans and everybody who came down to the block, came up from Pontiac, my two coaches tonight. And Drew, I want a rematch right away. Because one of the Thank you, y'all. Thank you.